Greetings everyone, Ajon here, another Dawn of, not Dawn of War, Cub Heroes 2 replay. Spawn the south side as the OKW player, we have Nappa. Spawn the right, top right side as the USF, we have a foreign name. What do you all think about me just, uh, for the user's name, I just put foreign name. Do you all find that reasonable since I don't know how to spell it in the first place? <laughs> like, you would imagine that if you could read it, you could probably spell it, but it's, I can't. I have no way of spelling it. So, do you find me using like brackets for name a good alternative? I am sort of curious. Speaking of which, we do have some foreign named Pathfinders. Nah, that was a horrible joke. Do you have some Pathfinders now being deployed on out? We do got some Volks Grandeer make their way forward. Some tank traps here. And I suppose tank traps right there would be quite use useful because even though it seems pretty close to the base, this map is relatively small. And the chances of them assaulting through this direction is actually quite likely. Another no squad of Volks Grenadier have been deployed on out. <clears throat> To commence. Looks like we got some wire going on down right there. Very nice. Mission accomplished. Oh. Ready weapons. Enemy is alerted to our presence. Prepare for counter strike. Looks like he's going to go first. Fuel point. Very nice. I do see some uh, beacons been deployed on out. And he did try to go from some shoe mines there, but he does force back the reaction line. And, and I don't think his opponent realized he placed down shoe mines there as either. We do got some uh, Volks Grandier behind some heavy cover there. Deploys some, some sandbags. Folks Grand Deer just eyeing to stay passive behind these uh, heavy cover. Could push a little bit farther forward. But being the passive behind heavy cover is not necessarily half bad since you want to make sure you don't lose stuff. And this is quite a bit of manpower float here. He may be not eyeing to go for any more Pathfinders. He may be just trying to save up some paratroopers or captain and or lieutenant. Folks Grand Deer will need to fall back relatively shortly. Should focus on the Pathfinders. They're actually much easier to hit than the Riflemen. And he is going for the squad wipe. He should. Oh, he does get the squad wipe. Ooh. -hoo. And this Volk squad perhaps just action. capture and retreat. Perhaps capture, shift Q, capture, and then retreat. Doom Pioneer is pushing the- ooh, very nice as well. Even blew up all the wire. Let's go. Two for one. Got rid of the wire and uh, forced back the, the lieutenant. And if the wires get damaged, or the tank trucks being damaged, it's not necessarily a half bad thing for him. So it's more like going to be used against him than for him, those tank traps. More tank traps being deployed on out. We do got this rear echelon deploying out some wire. Supply half track is ready for orders. Ready to execute. We do have this half track. I don't know why, but this model these models just seem extra like bright. Maybe this map is just extra sunny. I hear Sturm Pioneers charging on forward, trying to get the engage right from it, but the Sturm Pioneers will fall back. They're prone to being wiped right now. They can be pursued easily enough. Ooh, landmine detonation. He does have one model remaining for capturing purposes. 
it's probably a good idea to actually keep that model there for capturing. M20, ready for action. M20 on the field. You got the M20 engaging these Volks Grenadiers. The M20 is being upgraded the armor as well. Now should be relatively immune to rifle fire. There's one pushing forward there, have the minesweeper out, so he will not be capturing that point. The end could push forward in order to get some point blank shots. Yep, let's go for some point blank shots. Gave some good damage there. The folks are going to make their advance, trying to hit that 50 cal. He has rebuilt the path uh, finders as well, and he will flank the 50 cal. These guys are a little bit wounded. Hitting the beacon, so it's also a great way to get good distraction. Ooh, try to go for a pair of pounds of fouls, besides not to. Now you can deploy out some paratroopers. Lieutenant's being forced on back. Oh, they soft retreating. Let's give them hell, boys. Could go back to this heavy cover right there. But we've got the Pathfinders now moving the gauge. Those the Pathfinders are actually going to support the Shroom Pioneers or hit the Shroom Pioneers. Utility car, however, will. The Lieutenant may need to fall back. Yep. Trying to pull out some more wires, but or unsuccessful. And with the wounded squad and the minesweeper, there's no way he can gauge. They're pulling out a ambulance now. Losing that path, early pathfinder was a big loss. Excuse me. Uh, we are. It prevents the deployment of the ambulance, so he's getting a lot of manpower bleed because he can't heal up his forces. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Starting to get a bit of hiccups. Ambulance taking the field. A capture point is under attack. We do got the Panzer Files from the Volkswagen Deer. He can always get out of the vehicle and start repairing it. 50 Cal does get flanked once again. The 50 Cal was, seems like a good map for the 50 Cal. Perhaps maybe set up on the flanks, like such as this fuel point, in order to protect it. But overall, hasn't really done all too well. Lieutenant is now falling on back. And these uh, Volkswagen are trying to push on forward. It got the uh, Paradise Fire trying to hit that. The uh, M20 does get hit there. And I'm not sure if the rear armor can be penetrated with rifle fire with the armored skirts on, but he will barely escape on out of there. A capture point. 
We have this munitions point being hit as well. And the rear slant now falling on back. I haven't been able to get them healed on up. Of course, seems like OKW player has been in a great position this entire game. The US player hasn't really accomplished all too much at this point. point. These Pathfinders have been going unescorted. They need bars to be any sort of effective as, effective as well. They're a good spotting squad, that's for sure. But they're not a lone wolf squad in the early game. When they get the bars, they can do some serious work, but until that point... Both these squads are suppressed, thanks to the fact that he's suppressing this squad here, providing AoE first beyond the squad of heavy cover. And maybe... Oh, most of the Shroom Pioneers are recovering from suppression. This squad's fully pinned. No frag research, so can't displace those Grenadier or Shroom Pioneers. Lieutenant's now falling on back. Over here, we've got the utility car and Pathfinders making their advance. Utility car doesn't have to be worried about pounds spells. He's seen it before. Does get a model drop there now, and I hear a bar. We got at least one bar on this uh on this uh Pathfinder squad. The can warfare does fire, but hits the stone wall. Does get a good hit there. That is a line of sight blocker, I believe. Yep. And I see some paratroops now drop off in the distance. Drop complete. Everyone here? Get ready for action. Back to Warning orders, straight. gang. He may want to save up his munitions up for the M1919s. People, I've seen people going for the Thompson upgrade a little bit more, but the M1919s overall just a bit more potent. to 200 points. Crowds are taking one of our points. Rifleman getting overran by the Stream Pioneer and Volkswagen Deer. It does get suppression on both of the squads. These perhaps put more suppression on Stream Pioneer since Battery Gal Arc. But the uh, Rifleman should be able to finish them off. Bazookas do get deployed on out. Cinder Grenade does get thrown, but does reposition time. He is hitting... Oh no, the Volkswagen Deer do recover from the suppression. Due to the cars now advancing. Fully repaired. 50 Cal has seen quite a bit of losses now, and Rifleman are forced to fall on back. And he needs to make sure this... The rear echelon, if they capture... Nope, he's going to lose the rear echelon squad if he captures it. He decides not to recapture it. That's the problem with that rear echelon squad. It had one rifle, one carbine. I don't know, maybe he had one bazooka. That would be two carbines, still not a good amount of damage. So he gave up a 50 cal, which is a big loss. In 1919s have been deployed. That is a very powerful field upgrade. And with the Pathfinder here to support, that Shroompire had no chance of staying alive anytime soon. Battalion just released a major for action. Up here, we do have the into the car advancing. Getting some good damage there onto that uh, Volkswagen deer, forcing him back. The cow has been set on up, but it's actually quite wounded. And we do have the Sheer Panzer Quarters now hitting these guys, getting some good damage in onto them. 
Let's see, bit of fuel stored up. We also got some oaks also deployed on the field as well. And Lieutenant, Lieutenant, we'll escape on out there. That's going to take out that squad. Capture complete. Drop complete. Enemy infantry, pour it on. They're flanking us. Swing guns round. Change your position. Taking fire. This uh, rifle model is getting hit quite a bit, so this one will get gunned down. Major's just trying to pick away with his uh, M1919. And overall, not being all too effective at it. The Major himself goes down, leaving the two rear echelon models. And then, actually, he does get a full squad wipe there. We lost an infantry unit. They got wiped out. All done over here. just promoted us. About fucking time. Capture point is under attack. Paratroopers are going to be engaging. One of the models is actually pretty far forward, so this one will likely get gunned down the soonest. He is behind a bit of light cover right there. Yep, that one does go down. May want to eye for a defensive frag grenade. He can do reinforcements as well. He's next to a beacon. Does get a nice stun grenade there, and is falling back now. A capture point is under attack. So we do have the Doctrine Grand Offensive been locked on in. We see a Scott being deployed on out. Light gun carrier tank ready. Looks like the rear echelon squad is getting suppressed by this uh, MG-34. Ooh, and senior rounds also loaded on up. Both assassins are getting some good damage there on the lieutenant. And he needs to fall back now. He's just firing with his bar, not being all too effective. Ooh, there's a drop L. That is probably going to be the most powerful Pathfinder squad we'll see in a long time. He, that Pathfinder just picked up uh, MG-34. <laughs> Holy crap. 50 cal is well, not the first thing he would see with that new gun. Does get suppressed there. Scott trying to go from some close range of attacks. Misses. And I know people don't like Scots, but it feels like whenever I try to use them, this is how it feels like when I use a Scott. It just straight up misses all the time. When I feel like I'm going to face them, it just doesn't do all too great. This is generally how it feels like when I use a Scott. Oh, he luckily that shot missed because or else he would have been destroyed right there. That all shot also missed. Last 
The lieutenant does get a nice little flank there. But it's the same, a lot of damage to the approach, but he still has a Thompson and the M1919 like or M 1918 bar. The Kenworth does get a good hit there. He's actually lost of the Kenworth uh, Volkswagen here. There goes the utility card. Jackson's being deployed. We do got a bazooka pushing us forward and trying to pull out wire in front of Ovisotsons. Not a good idea. And then he shot his own wire of that bazooka. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Get their heads down! Capture complete! Suppressive fire! Here comes the Scott Barrage. I think beforehand the auto attacks were not very good and the barrages actually were most of the damage come out. Tiger tank has been deployed on out. It does roll a miss there on the rifleman. Miss of Misses against the Pathfinders as well. AT gun does get hit, and so does Jackson. Scott needs to start hitting these uh, Sturm Pioneers. And okay, this paratrooper did drop an M1919, but I believe he's still alive. He just has it's just he's a fall from the sky. Oh nope, he's over there. So he dropped an M1919, so that Sturm Pioneer has a powerful gun. Times we wish he had the old Zots and pick it up. Tiger Tank is almost dead thanks to those Jackson hits. Deploy out some another uh, beacon there. Do you know the beacons are self-constructing, so you just need to target it and it will actually build it. There goes that Pathfinder. I wonder if that's the one the MG34. We're losing a capture point. Enemy Scott does receive a hit. Over here, we got Volksgrenier captured the points. Volksgrenier captured the munitions point. The airborne player does have a lot of munitions, enough for a rocket run. We do have this 50 cal push its way forward. Is not his feel like whenever I use a Scott, it just misses. Ooh, good frag grenade there. Volkswagen Deer do fall back. We do have the Tiger Tank now advancing, get a good hit there. Jackson sends a good hit and receives a hit there from the Viken Warfer. Good hit there. Jackson backing away. We got the M1 AT gun setting on up. Just using regular rounds. And a good Faust onto the Scout. On the Scott. Tiger Tank backing up. Folks, going to do go down. And no, it wasn't really from the Scott. 
and Scott may have got the last kill, but it wasn't really much damage there. It was the Pathfinder's engaging way, which I believe this... Oops. Let's see, is this the MG34 one? I see... That is a carbine. So I think he lost the MG34 one, because that's scope rifle, scope rifle. I can't see what's in this guy's hands. That looks like a bar. I have to look through that little crack. That's a bar. Or, no? Yep, yeah, that's a bar. I see wood. So looks like the MG34 one did go down. Tiger tank pushes his way forward. We do see a bazooka hit there, but does bounce. Enemy armor, two, to top. two Jackson or two Scots have been deployed on the field. Looks like he may have got a wipe. Looks like it was uh, on top of the 50 cal. That's a lot of line sight blockers going down that can actually make the target tank's position easier to a siege. M18 gun rotating on over. Rolls a miss there. Bazooka's trying to make his way forward as well. And here comes a rocket run. He had a, if he goes back, he's going to get uh, over hit by more and more rockets. And that was a good hit there. Bazooka could fish off. Jackson does go down. One of our fighting positions is sustaining fire. I mean, he backed up into the into the uh, rocket runs. Look, it's right there. Good hits there. Task complete. Crew ready. MG34 does go down. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. now have 300 points remaining. Take it fire! Camera for trying to set on up by that close range. It could potentially be wiped. Good hit there. And the rear rotating crews will allow him to escape on out there. Plus, he always has his own panic smoke. has been deployed on out of there on out fresh jacks on the build queue does recruit the Vicken Warfare he may lose that uh, pathfinder the lieutenant cannot do anything for the Panzer 4 and when he take on trying to set on up does get a bounce there does get a pen there 
and does get a bounce. Good hit there, and there is a full wipe. Does throw a bundle grenade there. He does avoid it. Tank destroyer is ready for orders. And oh, he's completely out of Volks now. Just now, two Obsots and, and Sturm Pioneers. The US player doesn't have a whole lot of tickets remaining. And we've got some officer artillery now raining on in from the Panzer IV. The ambulance is very far forward. Hamlet does go down. Not sure why it was that far forward. The mage has been dead for quite some time. Panzer IV could go down. Gets a good hit there onto the uh, Panzer, onto that uh, AT gun. But there's a Jackson here. The Panzer IV is killing itself right now. The Jackson just has to roll up and says, bang, and then bang. He could roll a miss there. And he was actually staying still as well. Paratroopers, of course, have reinforcements from those uh, beacons. Smoke run coming on in. He's trying to play the VP game because his opponent doesn't have a whole lot of VPs left. And nothing's protecting the northern point. We got the lieutenant sprinting up over there. He should be able to get that before he has loses. He may. Uh, nope, the lieutenant's heading towards the center of the map now. That lieutenant should have just gone up to the northern side of the map and stayed there. Holy crap! He got lucky with that splash. These guys are very low in health. And he is really not happy. I mean, he just got lucky with that splash right there on that Obes Dotson. Everything else? Not really. He died with, uh, with a tiger tank when he fought against Airborne. And that tiger tank was quite wounded as well. So, yep. You have to be worried about those lawyers. This is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.